What is so special about this palm tree? Take a closer look and you can see it's an oil palm tree. Its fruit is used to make palm oil. Palm oil sounds exotic. Actually, we use palm oil every day. It's one of the ingredients in margarine, chocolate, washing powder, lipsticks, cream, shampoo, pastries, baby food, instant noodles, candies and deodorants. In Africa and Asia, palm oil is used for cooking. We consume quite a lot of palm oil. More than 20 million hectares of land are already covered with palm oil plantations, mainly in Malaysia and Indonesia, but increasingly in parts of Africa and Latin America. This equates to an area more than five times the size of Switzerland. Palm oil has contributed to the clearing of huge areas of rainforest and peatlands, which are important for habitats and healthy ecosystems. But we don't need to cut down trees to produce palm oil. How can we break the link between palm oil and deforestation? WWF is doing its part to help. Since 2002, WWF has been negotiating with all the parties involved in and concerned about the production of palm oil. The large producers and the small-scale farmers, traders, manufacturers, retailers, financial institutions and non-governmental organizations advocating for nature conservation and human rights. The aim is to find a solution together. We know that no one organization has all the answers. Which is why in 2004, WWF brought all the parties involved together to meet for the first time. A great start. The result was the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil. RSPO, a growing non-profit organization with over 3,000 members that work together to make palm oil more sustainable. All of these members are responsible for around half of the world's palm oil production. Finding solutions and compromises is a long and difficult business. Every party brings its own perspective and solutions. WWF argues for nature conservation and for palm oil to benefit small farmers and communities. The majority of the decisions are made by reaching consensus among the members. There is no outvoting the others. The board consists of 16 seats, four of which are reserved for NGOs. One of the huge successes of the round table is the development of a certification standard for sustainable palm oil. This certification standard helps to protect nature and people. It mandates that workers benefit from fair working conditions and wages and that indigenous groups cannot be robbed of their land. Clearing forests and land considered to be important for conservation is forbidden, while areas rich in biodiversity and endangered species are under strict protection. Additionally, all new operations must monitor and reduce pollution including climate change inducing greenhouse gases. And who controls all this? Qualified independent certifiers inspect each plantation to ensure that they meet these standards. Their reports are available on the website rspo.org and anyone who feels there has been a violation of the RSPO rules has the right to file a complaint with the round table. What has the RSPO achieved so far? Over 20% of palm oil production worldwide has been certified to the standards of the round table. This includes over 3.2 million hectares of certified land. To date, the RSPO has helped to conserve nearly 190,000 hectares of highly valuable forest, the equivalent of about 250,000 soccer fields. Thanks to the RSPO, Many producers have become more respectful of both the environment and communities, but nevertheless, the majority of palm oil producers still have a long way to go. Every five years, RSPO members come together 
to review the certification standard and make it even stronger. This sets the bar progressively higher for producing sustainable palm oil. The RSPO alone will not stop deforestation. We also need other measures which WWF is supporting. These include new and strengthened protected areas, land use planning that identifies and protects forests, companies buying sustainably produced palm oil, new laws around the world that promote sustainable palm oil and forbid conversion of forests and other valuable ecosystems for the products we use every day. Stronger enforcement to ensure companies and growers respect the laws around land use and the bans on clearing valuable forest areas. More informed choices by consumers. And new initiatives to promote innovation in the sustainable palm oil sector, such as RSPO Next and the Palm Oil Innovation Group. Combined, all of these efforts will result in a more sustainable palm oil industry, one which supports both people and nature. This is what WWF and other stakeholders are working for.